Hello students. Today we are going to revise the lesson again. So many kinds of animals. So what we have learned are we find different animals which are found in the air, on the ground, and in water. There are differences in the colors, shapes, and sizes of animals, and also in the ways the ways they move. Now we find some animals useful, so we keep such animals. So maybe we are those domesticated, domesticated animals. Then some animals are a nuisance for us, as I explained to you last time. And scientists classify animals according to certain important characteristics. Now, uh, today I want to tell you about uh, the animals which we have not covered last time. About bats. Now you must have seen bats hanging upside down, you know, on the branches of trees. Now though bats have wings, they don't have feathers on their body, so they don't come in the category of birds. So they are not birds like the crow or the sparrow or the parrot, cock. And but you know they are included in the group of cow, tiger, deer, mouse, etc. Now why is this? So they come in the category of mammals. Now mammals means the young ones of these animals, they feed on their mother's milk. So maybe the calf feeds on the cow, the mother's milk. The same thing with the tiger, then the deer, the mouse and also with the bat. So now what you are going to do is in your easiest class of book, you will take a new page, you will write today's date, 11 7, 2020. Now, why I have given you this date? Because this lesson is for tomorrow. So, you will write the date as 11 7, 2020. You will write, draw double lines, write the heading, so many kinds of animals. And the first question, question 1, fill in the blank. Underline the heading. And the first one, fish swim in water. The answer is swim. S W I N. So you underline that word neatly with the ruler. Second one, fish use their gills to breathe in water. Underline the word gills. G I L L S. The third one, the body of birds is covered with feathers. Underline the word feathers. Number four, insects have six legs. So the answer is insects. Fifth one, spiders make cobwebs in our house. So you will underline cobweb. An elephant has a bulky body. So you will underline the word bulky. So underline the word neatly. Swim, gill, feathers, insects, cobweb, bulky. And one, you will leave one finger space between your words. See that your work is very, very, very easy. We go to the next question. After you finish fill in the blank, you will draw a line. And then write question 2. Name the following. Now I have given you a few examples. The first one, birds that so high in the sky. So high means they fly very, very high. So they are eagle, kite and vulture. Animals with scales on their body. We've got fish, we've got a chameleon and we've got a snake. Animals that are a nuisance to us. Rats, mosquitoes, bedbugs and gnats. Large sized animals. Elephants, giraffes, hippopotamus. Number five. Animals that run very fast. Leopard, deer, cheetah. Now after each answer, you will leave a line. After each answer, leave a line. After the third one, leave a line. After the fourth one, leave a line. After the fifth one, leave a line and draw a line across. You could also draw lines here after each. 
See that your work is neat. Question C, match the following. Underline it. You will write number one in the margin. Chameleon, they creep or crawl. So they are reptiles. Now kite, kite is the name of a bird. They so high in the sky. Bat, as I told you, bat, they can fly but they are not birds and they come in the category of mammals. Butterflies have six legs. Fish live in water. So see that you write your answers correctly. Now, question four. Write true or false. The first one, an egret is white. The answer is true. Underline the word true. A parrot has scales on its body. It is false because a parrot has got feathers on its body. A house lizard has hair on its body. So again, this answer is false. And underline the word false. A cat is useful for carrying burdens. False. A cock does not fly very high. True. Though the cock is a bird, but yet it cannot fly very high. Then draw a line across the page. Leaving a line. And then you will go to the next question. Question 5. Draw, color, and name the parts of a fish. So here I've drawn a fish and I've named it. So if you see eyes, there's the mouth, then there is head, then we've got gills there, there are scales on the body, and it has got fins. The so fins on the upper side of the body, and this is the Okay, so got two pairs of things working. So I hope you all can see it and let your work be neat. Underline your headings and start learning your answers. So when I see you next time, I hope your book is completed and you are you have drawn the diagram also neatly and color it also neatly. And labeled it neatly. Very, very important. Because now you are in third standard. So you need to be a little more neat with your work. Okay? So see you children. Complete your work neatly. Write neatly. Underline with a ruler. And draw very, very neatly. Bye-bye. See you.